Hi, my name is Mike Boone and I am the director of Adaptive Sports Iowa. Thanks to the generous support of Variety, the children's charity of Iowa, we are able to bring you this Adaptive Track and Field instructional series. Adaptive Sports Iowa is proud to, to help athletes all around the state of Iowa compete in their junior high and high school teams. Our goal is that these videos will help coaches and athletes understand adaptive track and field and become confident in their equipment. If you would like more information, please visit our website, AdaptiveSportsIowa.org. And thank you for your time. All right, so transferring into the chair can be a little bit difficult sometimes. Um, and depending on the ability of the athlete, uh, the ability levels of the athlete, um, some of them can do it independently, other needs, others need a little bit of assistance. So today we're going to be working with Jordan, and he's going to be getting into his racing chair. He sits in a kneeled position, so his feet will be, his knees will be sitting here with his feet down in the pocket. The way that he prefers to get in and out of the chair is we're going to bring the chair up in front of him, open it up, and he's going to he's going to transfer into it. Okay, so it's important while you do this, especially for someone, or especially the way that we're going to be doing this with Jordan, is you need assistance. You need someone to hold onto the chair that will keep it stable. That way, as he's getting in, you you reduce the risk of injury from this standpoint. Okay, so we'll bring it right up to the front of him, lift it up so he can get easy access into the chair. Make sure you got a good. Um, Make sure you're holding onto the chair firmly. <laughs> okay, so Jordan's gonna hold onto the frame as we bring him forward, okay? Now you're gonna tell me if, if we're doing something wrong or, as, or something's not going right as we're doing this, okay? So we're gonna go and bring him down slowly. He'll transfer his weight over. There we go. Brings his knees up, gets positioned correctly. All right, once he's there now, we want to make sure he's strapped in. I let him go here because all of his weight is forward. We want to make sure that when he's on here, the center of gravity, which is the axle, the, the, his mass is in front of that center of gravity. If I let go of him before he does that, he's going to tilt backwards. So that's why it's important to always have, have a helmet on whenever you're on the chair, in the chair on the track. Okay. The last part here, sometimes, sometimes these chairs have a ratcheting strap or sometimes they're just a um, Velcro like we have here. Okay, want to bring him in nice and snug. Okay, all right, you're all set and ready to go. So in every aspect of, of racing wheelchairs, we want to make sure that the athlete is going to be able to stay safe. Um, and un unfortunately, one of the points that you can injure the athlete um, most common is actually transferring in and out of the chair. The way the chairs are designed is that you want, obviously, all their mass is in front of the, uh, of the center of gravity, which is the axle. If you notice, the axle on the wheel, if he sits upright, his mass will be behind that center of gravity, making it very easy for the chair to tip over, causing a head, head injury or other, um, other issues. So we want to make sure that when they're transferring in and out, especially the first few times they do it, that they have, they have a little bit of help either from coaches or, or other, other student athletes just to kind of keep the chair stable while they're moving in and out. Okay? So right now, Jordan is completely strapped in, like he's ready to go, ready to race. So what we're going to do is we're going to have him unstrap. Can you unstrap by yourself? No? Nope? Okay. So I'll unstrap. So, so we've, got, we've, we've got straps along the back here that I'm going to go ahead and get done. Um, we, have a, we have someone that comes up and kind of holds the front down just to make sure the chair doesn't tip backwards. Now, there's a lot of different ways to do this, um, we've, depending, on, depending on how, um, depending, depending on the ability level of the athlete, sometimes they can just pop, pop up themselves, sometimes they need assistance. So for this, this particular way, we're actually going to, once he gets out, we're going to tilt the chair back a little bit so he can actually hold on to his chair, his, his wheelchair, and be able to transfer out, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and Ease him back here a little bit. Hold on. Okay, are you all unstrapped everywhere else? Okay, 
All right, so go, let's go ahead and lift him up a little bit. Yeah. Yep. Now your athlete should be able to communicate what, like, like how, how he's able to do this. More, okay. Perfect. Get your feet out. Let's move up a little bit more. Good. Okay. Bring it down, and he's all out. 